Hello everyone. I'd like to share this one thing with you. I recently discovered a new meaning for a passage of scripture that most of us may or may not be familiar with, and it's the Lord's Prayer or the model prayer, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The part that really resonated with me recently was give us this day our daily bread. I was taught that that particular part of the prayer was referring to giving us what we needed day by day with regard to the word of God to make it through the day with regard to maybe food for those who were hungry or who were less fortunate, who did not have enough to maybe nourish them. I was taught that that part of the prayer was referring to that. But I just discovered the other day that there's a new meaning, at least for me, and I hope that this will help you. The children of Israel were had to be totally dependent upon God. And there was one time when he asked them, he told them when he when they were in the wilderness, he told them, I will feed you day by day. I will give you what you need to survive day by day. So the Bible says that they were given they were given fresh manna every day. God would allow fresh manna. And if they kept the manna overnight, the manna would spoil. And the Bible also says that they would eat quail and the quail would fly so low that they were able to catch it with their hands. That's how low the quail would fly. So God was uh, true to his word. He was faithful to what he told them. I recently came upon something where I needed Jesus. I needed God to regulate my situation. I needed God to regulate my thoughts. And that scripture came to me. I said, God, I need you I need to be dependent upon you every day. So Jesus, I need to come to you every day for what I need. And I just determined within myself that I was not going to let my situation take over my mind because sometimes that will happen. We let our situations get the best of us and we wind up feeding, we wind up putting all of our energies towards our negative situation, and we can't concentrate on anything else. We can't do anything else that's productive because our attention is focused on whatever is going on in our life that is negative. But I've recently learned that I can put it all on God. I said, God, I'm going to come to you every day. And what I've been doing is when I wake up in the morning, I mean, I always pray in the morning. That's I do. I do that. But I've been making it part of my daily routine to give the day to God. I say to God, God, I'm giving this day to you. Help me through this day. Help me to make it through this day. Help my thoughts today. Help my actions today. And what I and I've also been praying about every little thing that happens because I think that we look at prayer as, I don't even want to say maybe a fourth or fifth line of defense. Once we've tried everything, and I'm not saying it's everyone, but I've been guilty of it. I'll try everything that I can with in my fleshly means to fix a problem. And then when I can't fix it, then I go to God and I say, okay, well, I may as well pray on it. That's all I can do. But what I should have done was I should have prayed from the beginning. That should have been my first line of defense. And I used to be like that. And as I got older and I I guess 
more mature and um, I learned more. I guess I thought I could handle things by myself, but I still cannot. I still need Jesus. So I still have to tell God, give me this day my daily bread, meaning give me peace in my mind today. Give me the strategy how to get through on how to get through the day. And please, Jesus, bring me to the end of the day without hurt, harm or danger. So I just wanted to encourage you, if you're going through something that seems like it's insurmountable, remember, you can always ask God to give you your portion of strength for that day. And I guarantee he will be faithful because he has done it for me. Be blessed.